Hello everyone and welcome back to Expansion Gaming. I am your host today, Devin, and today I will be bringing you some of the brand new game, Cuphead. It is a game that is all hand-drawn in the 1930s art style. Uh, honestly, I just want to hop right on into this. I am looking forward to this game. I am so excited to finally start playing it. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the crap stables. Hot dog, explained King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Like, just look at this art style. It is amazing. Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes left the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about these souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. The, there must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, well, please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Debtors? Yeah, I think that's right. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two months. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out rudely. Out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of these souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Even the music for this is just so soothing. I love the old jazz music. And this little hourglass is so darn cute. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll be they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion with you so they don't hang you out to dry. That was awesome. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk, and there will be a mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Tutorial. Hold down to crouch. Jump. Oh, I made a space bar. Pressing down. Oh, I have to press down in space. Got it. Eight way aiming. I'm pressing C. Why isn't it locking? might not have made my best control scheme for that. There we go. Parry slap. Press jump while airborne and nullify spaces in pink. This also builds your super meter. If 
revive your dead pal with a well-timed pair. Ghost is two-player mode only, so not useful for me. An upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. So that's... Oh, that's cool. And then exit. So I probably should go into the options and change my lock to control instead of C. Can I do that here? Yes, I can. So my lock was set to C. Left control. Left control is not stuck to anything. All right, there we go. Not to pay to move on now. Shake a leg. All right, so do I just go out there over here? And it looks like I do. I love this art style. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting, but now I prefer to just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Hey, we got three coins. Awesome. Well, that's the shop. There's a coin holding money bags. What's this? The Root Pack in Botnik Panic. Difficulty selection regular. Oh, okay, so this is like a little level. So this is kind of reminding me of Mario Bros. Oh. This is actually a bit harder of a job than I thought it was going to be. Ah, oh, I died already? You smashed and mashed, it's over for you. Let's retry. Alright, I just have to get used to this control scheme. It was not letting me use my mouse for some reason. That's okay. I love how the last one's a worm. Is there... am I just missing? But there's like no health gauge for him. Oh, I could have just been jumping and shooting this whole time. Did I beat him? Oh, no I didn't. Oh, now there's an onion? Okay, he's crying. I'm guessing I can't get hit by the water drops. There's a difference between the regular and the red. Alright, so far there's been... Now there's a carrot. And he's got crazy homing carrot eyes. Ah, crap. Can I... Okay, I can't shoot them. Uh... Crap. Alright, so that carrot was the last one. This match will get not believe. I really don't want to get stuck in this one spot. I feel kinda of bad that I'm doing this bad or this poorly. I'm not sure though how to go about hitting the carrot. Try and take this onion out as quickly as possible. Just the sound effects and the art. I love this so much. So, how do I hit him? How do I damage him? Do I damage him by shooting the carrots? Oh crap. 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 Alright, 
right, we're going to exit to the map because I am doing something wrong here. Sorry, I'm going to go into my settings again. Controller, let's assign controller. Nope. And it does not let me. Let's see if I can. Nope. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just go into the shop then. Pork Rinds Emporium. Chaser. Long range with below average damage, no aiming required. EX Chaos Orbit. Heart, an extra hit point. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Spread. Short range with great damage, if you can keep close to your target. Smoke Bomb and Roundabouts. I'm actually going to buy this. Goodbye. So if I go... You now got to equip those new purchases. If you want to use them, look at your equip card, you bums. So, shift. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I want to look at my options one last time. If I was to do default... So, move left and right is with the arrows. Jump is Z, shoot is X. EX shoot is V. Control is still my, or C is still my lock. So I think I'm going to change this one to left control. Z, I still want my jump. So let's do this instead. Jump will be space. Shoot will be Q. EX shoot will be W. Alright, let's try this control scheme. Did that save? It did. I'm just trying to figure out what would be the best control scheme for this. This is actually a very challenging game, and I don't want to get stuck in this. Okay. Oh wow, that really is close. This is the weirdest. This game is definitely meant to be played with a controller. So if you get this game, I would highly suggest playing it with a controller. I do not have one, so... Ah, that's how you damage him. Oh, I jumped right into that. Crap. Alright, I'm getting better at this. I am going to kill this damn carrot. Now go! Ah, damn it, getting my button scheme mixed up already. There we go. We're gonna tab over. I wanna see, what is this? Oh, okay, that's cool. I like the trade-off to where you can increase your health, but it decreases your damage. Alright, 
Dodge, dodge, dodge. I'm so mad that I'm having to redo this again. I, I was not going into this expecting this game to be this hard, but I, just, I love the art and I love the gameplay so much already. I don't even care if I'm dying. It's mostly just me being bad. Okay, except for maybe that. That was kind of bullshit. Ah, uh, dodge it. Shit, 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 shit. Don't want to lose my last health like that. I know there are going to be some of you guys in the comments say, You should have been doing this. You should have been doing that. I understand. I am not the best at this game. I'm just here to love and enjoy this so much. Just the art style, the music. And honestly, the difficulty. I'm really just enjoying all the aspects of this. And I really should get... Keyboard. God damn it. Oh my god, he still had so much health. Alright, we're gonna exit back to the map. I don't want to spend all day on this guy. Uh, I did just think of a way for this. Sorry, I keep going back into the control scheme, but this is really, really not made to be done with a keyboard. Let's hop down. I can't hop down here. Okay. What's this? Running gun. Okay. Well, let's, let's see if we have better luck running gumming. Gumming? Gunning. It's on! Alright, well, let's go. So, do these enemies just keep spawning constantly? That's kind of cool. Shit. Oh. And he just reforms from goop. And there's no destroying that. Let's get these coins. Ow. Damn. Ah. Okay, I was honestly trying to jump parry that. That was just, that was me being bad. Sorry. So what's, what's the point of parrying? Because the jump parry doesn't really seem to work. Or am I just that bad? And no, just don't comment down below saying yes, I'm that bad. <laughs> go, 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 go. Whoa. Damn. There just gets to a point where there's just a lot going on. Not sure how to get that one. Ah, I ran right up into him. Ah, crap. Since the enemies don't stop, I mean, I feel like I've just Here died go. constantly. Let's just keep going. Your special doesn't charge very fast in this game either. Maybe just because the enemies are just so numerous. There we go. One coin. 
And I stood there and just took that. God damn, I'm just doing awful now. Go, 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 go. Since I can't afford to get hit again. Oh, okay. Can't even touch the mushrooms. I am doing so hey, awful on this. If I just hold this down, is there any real repercussions? No. Oh yeah, I can duck. Duck. That might actually come in handy. Even though I am doing awful at this, I am still loving this game. It's so much fun. Alright, come on. There we go. I don't know if those guys can hit me, but I'm not going to risk them hitting me. You can't kill those. Ah, crap. Okay, so not even that will kill those. Awesome. I beat it with one health. Oh, I thought I was going to die right there at the end again. Look, we actually beat the game. Well, not the game, but we beat a level. And our grade, a B minus. I will take that. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here, guys. Oh, so we needed to beat that to get the bridge. Awesome. All right. Next time, we're going to go ahead and probably take on what looks like a bunch of fake trees. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please remember to like and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for watching. Until next time.